But the great thing about this dip um, is you'll see on the recipe it calls for you know sausage and then the onions and everything that you mix in with it. You can also use um, a rotel, like a rotel dip and then or the rotel salt in a can and then you can also use um, Velveeta cheese with it and kind of mix that in and make it more of a cheesy dip. Than, this is a little cheesy but it's more sausagey than, than the thick cheese. So we already made our um, sausage here. It's a pound of sausage. Hot um, is what we've used. Um, you can use mild, but um, it's more of the flavor. You can use the hot sausage and then the onions. Of course, the onions. We've been preheating the oven to 350. And then we're going to mix all of the, we've drained the fat. It's very important to drain the fat just for, I mean, obviously for healthy reasons, but also for the consistency of the dip too. You don't want that oil collecting on the top of it. So. Um, so we're going to go ahead and mix everything in this bowl except the um, reserved onion. We've got the onion, we've got enough onion for an army, it smells like, but we've got some um, onion here that we are going to mix in with our sausage. And we are going to use our cheese, Parmesan cheese. Now, for the Parmesan cheese for this dip, I use the actual grated Parmesan cheese, not the shaker that you kind of shake on your Italian food, because um, you're going to get that real good Parmesan flavor in that. Um, and then we're going to have sour cream and mayonnaise. And then we're going to have to cook it for a little bit, so that's why we're going to go ahead and get it ready. This pan. Make sure I'm on the camera there. I'm on the camera. Um, one of the things also about this dip, you can, um, it calls for pimentos. Of course, if you're going to use the rotel, you don't need the pimentos in there. That It's just got those extra diced tomatoes in there. Unless you like pimentos, um, really like pimentos, you, you can leave those out if you so choose. It's not hurting. It just gives to the flavor of it. So. Okay, we've got our sausage here. And then we're going to put in our, these are for garnish really at the end, it's one green onion. And we're gonna mix in the other green onions. It calls for five green onions chopped, but four are going in now. And this is so good. Very good, I'm glad we don't have a lot of people in the class. That just means more for us, right? We're going to do a half a cup of mayonnaise. Mix that in. So I'm guessing most of you are regulars to the cooking class. This is any of your first time? Because she was stiff-armed to come. She had to get her here. Please, please, please go. Make sure somebody was coming. Yes, she's supposed to be my moral support there. Ooh and ah. Yay. I'll do the exact same thing in August. Well, when I was, I was telling Leslie I wasn't sure what I was going to come up with, and I didn't want to repeat you know, if there were a lot of regulars, I didn't want to repeat some menu items. And so, and I had originally thought about kebabs, doing making different kebabs. And I thought, well, I can't do that because I don't have a grill. Well, there's a grill. <laughs> so I get here and she goes, well, we got a grill right here. I said, well, we're doing dips. <laughs> we're doing dips. Kebabs next time. <laughs> kebabs are just so fun. I'm stuck. Well, this, this is the peanut gallery. If it, they may not want me to come back, you know. It depends on how good the food is. Um, we're gonna do our Parmesan cheese. I think I lost track there. We use our, we, I threw my sour cream in there. I'm gonna mix in. Of course, you're, you're catching it at, uh, most of the prep's already been done. You know, we did all of our chopping and our last recipe was a lot of prep work as far as slicing and getting items ready. So you're seeing the quick 
version of it, like the strawberry dip. That, that now that was pretty quick. You saw that was pretty much from start, except for cutting up the the strawberries. Um, the other thing about the um, the chopped pimentos, um, I noticed down there whenever we went on our shopping spree before class that they had the sliced ones and then they've got diced ones. So I got the diced ones just to make sure because it calls for chopped um, and it calls for them drained. So I'm gonna attempt to open this jar and drain them out a little bit because we don't want all that juice in there. And it calls for the two ounces. Like I said, if you're not a big fan of pimentos or you don't want them or you want extra, you can get more. I was telling Leslie a little bit ago that this is, I don't have the luxury of, I needed another orange and she just ran down and got me another orange. And I, I live 25 minutes from the grocery store. So I, usually when I'm at home and I don't have something, I just go, okay, well, it's another cereal night. <laughs> I'm gonna eat cereal again for dinner. So it's just easier. Okay, yeah, exactly. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to mix all of this together. We've got our sausage, our onions, our sour cream, mayonnaise, cheese, and pimentos in there. And then we are going to transfer it to a baking dish. And then we are going to bake it for about 20 minutes. So the onion smell goes away. Is that wonderful aroma? Poor Leslie, she chopped the onions for me. Time I looked over, she was crying. <laughs> and the thing that I've found best to um, use with this um, are the, the little tortilla scoops. You can even use Fritos, the little Frito scoops as well. Yeah, I forgot the onions, didn't I? Can you say that? The onions that Miss Cindy just reminded me go on the very top. Just as a garnish. Usually I I go ahead and mix them in, but they're pretty that way. And it's all about making it pretty. But trust me, when you eat it, you're not gonna be concerned with how pretty it was because it is it is so good. So very good. Bring me some yummy food. Oh yeah, it's bubbling. It's pretty. Do I have to share this? <laughs> Do I really have to share this? Isn't that pretty? Ah, it's bubbling. Yeah, it's it's so pretty. Yeah. Yay. Ooh, ah. 